Hi, I am Paolo, a fellow Udemy instructor, and in this video I will show you how to easily create an audio track of one of your course sections so that your students can download it and listen to it conveniently, maybe on a train, maybe in their car, really whenever. It's a great idea that I lifted from Bob Marx, whose courses are full of really good insights. And in this video, I will show you how to do it. I assume you already have a published course on Udemy with several lectures, like this one, for example, this course of mine that I'm going to use. And specifically, I'm going to do it for section number five over here. Now I'm using Linux, um, Ubuntu more specifically, but the system will work the same on a PC or a Mac, since we are going to use Audacity, which is a complete cross-platform application. Step one is go to the Audacity website, if you don't really have the software installed, uh, download it. You see here it's available for Windows, Mac or Linux. Uh, so get on your computer, install it, set it up. And when you're ready, we can get into action, of course, by launching the software as I'm doing right now. Now, um, this is a very powerful piece of software that can do a hefty amount of things. But today uh, I will focus only on the task at hand. And the first bit is to get the audio out of a lecture. Now your setup and your path, of course, may uh, vary and, and your files may be in different position. But for me, I always edit the audio when I'm cutting the final video. So to make sure that I have the right audio of the lecture, I'm going to extract it uh, directly from the final video, the one that is published on Udemy. And to do so, I go on File, Open, and then I have to navigate uh, through my video courses until I get to my video lecture. In this case is SP English lectures. And the first one of this section is number 21. And this is the video of the lecture, which of course has also the audio. Now the good news is that Audacity can do it quite seamlessly. Because if you just open the video uh, file, you will see that an audio track will be extract and appear on your screen. Actually, you will see in a few seconds that it's two tracks, or to say it better, it's just one track with two different channels, left and right. Um, now, um, I believe that you know providing the audio for just one track um, or an audio file for every single lecture would be too many files for the students. And on the other side, to provide a single audio track for the whole course would be really too big, a huge file, and less convenient for the students to move inside the different bits uh, when they listen only to part of it. So what I'm going to do, as I said, is just to provide a single file for a section, which is the same, I believe, as Bob does too. Now, this one on the screen in front of me is just the first, first lecture of this given section on um, connect with the audience and the engagement. So what I need to do now is to append the other lectures of this section. Audacity per se doesn't have a pure append command, but achieving the desired result is really quite simple. You go on File, Import, Audio, and, and then you go for really for the next lecture, which in my case would be number 22. Again, I'm using the video file because that's where my final audio is. If you do have a final audio file, you can go straight for that one without going for uh, the video. Now, 
uh, I could do like in the, doing the cooking shows on TV, you know, and, and cut it off the, the dead time while it's loading the track, which is maybe what I'm going to do in the edit of this video too. But in the meantime, I would like to tell you that if you use Audacity, you can use it also to achieve other desired things like checking the audio level of your tracks, uh, maybe remove noise or maybe amplify the signal to make sure that you get a decent audio in your lectures. Okay, we got number two, oh, which is 22, but for us is the second uh, or number two of our section. And you see that now we have um, other two channels or another track on bottom of the previous one. Now what we need to do, or what I'm going to do is to import all the others too. So I go on and repeat the same thing, import audio for all four of them. Yeah. Number three is here, and finally the last one. And there we go. Okay, all done. Now, you see we have uh, four different tracks but they are not yet sequential. They all start at the same time. So what we need to do is make sure that everyone begins after the last one. And to do so, there is um, a tracks, a line tracks, and I will use start to cursor uh, function. But before I can do that, I, what I need to do is first of all, select the track that I want to align. And in this case it would be the second one, which is this one. Now, if you click anywhere on the track, you will see it becomes selected because it's, it looks darker. And, and now I need to tell the software where I want it to start. And to do so, I move my mouse at the end of the previous one, and then I just click. And you see there is, um, there is a line showing up. Um, and this is the would be the where I would like my track uh, to start. Now, if it's not right, you can keep on clicking and move it around until you find the the proper space. And you may need, depending on how how big are your tracks, you may need also to zoom in or zoom out if you want to be more uh, precise in terms of seconds. Okay, of where you put this line. But let's say that this is where I want. Uh, my line and now I can go and do tracks align tracks and start the cursor now you see that the track has been shifted and now track 2 it's moved on the timeline and follow the first one and ideally I have left it a little bit of space in between the two so that is clear for the students where one lecture finishes and the next one begins. Now I'm going down and I'm going to repeat it for each subsequent track until I get all of them aligned. So now I select track three. I probably need to move around, get to the end of track two. Again, click here. This is more or less where I wanted to start maybe a little bit more to leave that bit of space, as I said. Um, you choose, of course. Tracks, align tracks, start the cursor, and there you go. And finally, I need the last one, number four. Again, scroll to the end of lecture three, click, tracks, align tracks, start the cursor. Now, you see that we, 
we achieved what we wanted. We have all four of them, one after the other. And of course I could zoom out to show it better to you. And now you see that all the tracks, one follow the other. That's what we want. Now it's time to generate the audio track. If you use save, uh, which is up here on the file menu, Audacity would really save a project file, which is fine, but is not what you want or what you can upload to Udemy. Instead, what we are going to do is to export into an MP3 file. Now, when you click on export, uh, you will be asked where to save your file. And I'm going to put it here. Uh, of course, you have to provide the name. In this case, I would say audio section five. And you have to choose which file format. Now, check here that MP3 is the one you're going to use. There are different options. Um, I would say the MP3, MP3 is the most common and the best one to use. Um, name the file as we done. And now it's time to, uh, you can check the option, that's important too. Uh, there are different values where you can choose the quality of your audio file. Of course, higher quality, bigger file size. That's really up to you what you want uh, to go with. I'm super happy with 256 uh, kilobit per second, but you can use something completely different. And now I'm happy, so I'm saving and the export process will begin after a little warning on the fact that the tracks will be mixed down to a single one, which I'm completely happy and that's what I want. Now, uh, if you want, Audacity give you the opportunity to enter some uh, metadata, some information about your track. You can put an artist name. Uh, of course, you can write everything from your name to Lady Gaga, but I'm going with my name here. and the exporting process begins. Now this can take a little bit of time depending on uh, the size of your audio, but also on the power of your computer and so on. So what we're going to do right now again is to use the television trick, cut the video and go straight to the end of the export procedure. Okay, the export process has finished. Now it's time to upload it to Udemy. And the last part, this one is quite obvious. You go on manager course, um, down to the end, add the lecture. Then you can give whatever name you like. I would say section five, full audio. I need to move it, of course, to, to section five. I normally like to put it at the end of my section. And now I need to add content, of course. Uh, make sure you choose audio and then you're ready to upload your audio file. This is the new one we have just created with um, Audacity and here Again, the time may, be, may, may vary how long it will take depending on your connection speed. Mine is pretty awful, to be honest, and also on the size of your audio file. So another time again, we're gonna cut the video and jump straight to the end of uploading. Okay, the uploading has finished. And in the meantime, I went for lunch and a nice holiday in the Mediterranean Sea. The file has been uploaded, has been processed by Udemy. Uh, if you want now, you can add a description to it or not. It's really up to you. I'm going to do so, but of course you don't need to do it. Whole section audio. What you need to do the last bit is to publish this file. And while you do it, make sure and check that the downloadable is on because this is the 
idea of course is that people can download your audio file load it on their whatever podcast player whatever they use to listen to audio bring in the car and listen to it now you've seen the whole process um, i'm sure there are different pieces of software you can use or or different procedures to get to the final result but this one for me it's quite easy is pretty straightforward and works very well so i was happy to share it uh, with you so in the end uh, creating an audio track for um, each section of your course job done good luck and have fun on udemy bye